Hello, so today I want to share with you my layering combinations for February of 2023. I decided to start out this month using Mango Temptation by Victoria's Secret, which is a nice, sweet mango scent. I really, really like this scent. It's a good one. And I decided to pair it with Sugarful Sunshine by Michelle Germain, which is like a sweet pineapple scent. And together, this was really nice. It was super fruity, and it was just really fun. I like this one. My next layering combination for Mango Temptation, I decided to use the Mango Cupcake Oil from Sugar Milk Co., which I've talked about before. It's just a really sweet mango scent. I don't smell cupcake in it. It's just sweet mango. And on top of that, I decided to layer Ariana Grande's Thank You Next 2.0. So this is a much sweeter, fruitier version of Thank You Next. If you saw my declutter video, you know that I got rid of the original Thank You Next. But this one I really, really enjoy. And I actually wish it came in a bigger size. So the next scent I decided to use is Whitberry Meringue. So this is a really sweet scent. It smells just like cotton candy clouds or boardwalk taffy. It's just that sweet sugary scent. On top of that, I decided to use Cotton Candy Oil by Sugar Milk Co., which smells exactly like cotton candy. So I just added more sweetness to it. And then I decided to add in Dream Bright from Bath & Body Works, which is just a really nice raspberry vanilla perfumey type scent. And together, this went really well. Like, this is one of my favorite combinations from this month, and definitely one that I'll use again in the future. Next up, I decided to pair Whitberry Meringue again with the Cotton Candy Oil from Sugar Milk Co. And then I decided to pair Among the Clouds, which is one of Bath & Body Works' newest scents. And it's, it's also another raspberry vanilla, but it smells completely different than Dream Bright. So this one doesn't have any perfumey qualities, it's just sweet. So this one was really nice too. I just wanted to use Among the Clouds because I had just gotten it, and I wanted to see what it smelled like and see how it layered and see the lasting power. Lasting power wasn't great, but I absolutely love this scent. So the next scent I decided to use was Bubblegum Pop, which smells exactly like pink bubblegum. It's so sweet. It's so fun. I just absolutely love this fragrance mist. And since it doesn't have a lotion, I always pair it with something else. And I decided to pair it with Pink Watermelon Blast, which is a nice candy watermelon type scent. So together, this smelled like watermelon bubblegum. On top of that, I layer Britney Spears' Rainbow Fantasy, which to me has a cotton candy note, but I don't really smell it. Like there's also a woods note in it. And to me, that is what I smell more. I know that people are selling this perfume for crazy prices on Mercari. Please do not pay $300 for this perfume. It is definitely not worth that. It is actually one that I don't love. I thought that I would, but I just don't. I do love the bubblegum pop and pink watermelon combination though, for sure. Next up for Bubblegum Pop and Pink Watermelon Blast, I decided to pair it with Pink Sugar by Aqualina. So this is a super sweet cotton candy sugar scent. I'm sure most people know what it smells like. It's been around forever. It's very popular, but it's super strong. Like, so this whole combination lasted all day and it was absolutely amazing. I love this one. I really honestly think that Pink Sugar goes with almost anything and I love to pair it with anything that I can. Next, I moved into something more floral, so I decided to use Poppy, which is, to me, a sweet floral scent. It's really light, though. Like, it's not heavy, like some floral scents can be. I decided to pair it with, obviously, the perfume, and then I use my Idol Nectar by Lancome, which is a really sweet rose type of scent. Together, this was really nice. Um, I do believe that the Idol Nectar overpower the poppy though because <laughs> that one's a really strong perfume so definitely if I'm going to do that again in the future I'm going to use less of the perfume and more of the poppy perfume to finish out poppy I decided to pair it with black opium illicit green by YSL so this is what newer perfume in my collection it's really nice though it's sweet it has like fig and stuff in it it's really nice and I thought it paired really nicely with the sweetness that's already in Poppy. So this was a good one. The next scent is Sweet Whiskey, which to me just smells like Bonfire Bash with berries. It's a very strong scent, but it's a really nice scent. Like that vanilla bourbon and the berries, they just go really nicely together. I decided to pair it with Billie Eilish Eilish, which I talk about all the time and I wear every month. This is such a beautiful vanilla. It's like a spicy vanilla. And to me, it adds more sweetness to the sweet whiskey that kind of softens it a little bit. And this one, absolutely loved it. Perfection. So next up for sweet whiskey, I decided to use Kiali's Vanilla 28, which is a beautiful vanilla scent. It has a lot of layers to it. It's not just straight vanilla, 
but it is such a nice scent. And as your bottle ages, the smell is better and better. So if you have it and you don't love it, like let it age some. I think you'll be surprised at how it turns out. I just really think that sweet whiskey smells better with vanilla. So together, I thought this was great, just like it went with the Eilish. So the next scent I decided to use is Pinkberry Clouds. So to me, this smells like cotton candy clouds, and then it has like a fresh air note. So like you get that sweet cotton candy clouds note, but then there's something else added, and that's the fresh air note. I don't know exactly what it's in it is, but I really do like it. And on top of that, I decided to use the Fineries Magnetic Candy, which has a cotton candy note, but it has citrus also. So this was just a really sweet, citrusy, outside type of smell. It was really, really nice. I liked it a lot, and I actually got a compliment on this one. So it must have been doing something right. So my next layering for Pinkberry Clouds, I decided to use Black Opium's Neon by YSL. So this is a sweet berry fragrance. I really like this perfume. I think I use it pretty often. I feel like I have. And together, it just went really nice with the berries and the sugar that's already in Pinkberry Clouds. I don't know if it was something super special, but it was definitely nice. So next up, I decided to use Summer Melody, which is just honeydew and vanilla. I love this scent. I talk about it all the time. It just makes me happy, and it's just, it smells so good, and it's so simple. I just absolutely love it. I decided to pair it with Girl of Now by Ellie Saab. So to me, I only smell the orange blossom in this perfume. It is very sweet, but it's a really nice perfume. I do like it. And together, this was really nice. It just added more sweetness to the Summer Melody. It was perfect. So next up for Summer Melody, I decided to pair it with Floral Marshmallow by Dossier, which is their dupe of Killian's Love Don't Be Shy. And I really love this perfume. I've had this one for quite a while. I'm about halfway done with it. I need to buy a backup of it. But it is just a sweet marshmallowy scent, and it's so pretty. And together, that extra sweetness with the Summer Melody, perfection. So next up, I decided to wear my favorite scent, which is Strawberry Pound Cake which is a beautiful gourmand, strawberry, whipped cream, golden cake scent. I love this scent. I never get tired of it. It is so strong. It's so delicious. Ugh, it's perfect. And I decided to pair it with Sugarful by Michelle Germain, which is a nice, sweet, strawberry, sugar scent. So together, I thought this went really nice. It's hard to find things to pair with strawberry pound cake because strawberry pound cake is so strong. But this one was good. Next up, paired my strawberry pound cake with Vini by Alt Reamer, which I've talked about this perfume a lot too because I love this one. It is a vanilla cotton candy scent and it goes with absolutely everything. So this just added more vanilla sweetness to an already super sweet scent. So I was definitely like cavity inducing smelling that day for sure. But I absolutely loved every minute of it. Next up, I decided to use White Pumpkin and Chai, which is my absolute favorite gourmand fall scent i've talked about it before it's just super sweet with the vanilla glaze and then it has a little bit of pumpkin spice in it and it's just such a good mix like it's not overpowering pumpkin like some of their other scents are and i decided to pair this with finery sweet on the outside which is a dupe for billy eilish eilish i don't think they smell exactly the same but they're really really close so obviously you know that i love eilish so this one was perfect so next up, I decided to pair my White Pumpkin and Chai with Coffee Cloud by Good Chemistry. So this is a relatively new scent in my collection, and it really does just smell like Cloud by Ariana Grande with some coffee in it. <laughs> Which I don't love Cloud, but I can I can do this. Like this is only a, it's a small bottle. I can use this. I love coffee scents, and together with the White Pumpkin and Chai, it was really nice. So it had like that spiciness with the coffee, and then like the vanilla. It was really good. I like this one. Next up, I decided to use Bubblegum Pop again, which is just sweet bubblegum with a little bit of citrus. And I decided to pair that with Cotton Candy Clouds, which is just a sweet cotton candy type of scent. So together, it was just a sweet cotton candy bubblegum scent. It was really nice. And I decided to pair that with the Princess Bubblegum Oil by Sugar Milk Co., which smells exactly like the spray. It's bubblegum with like a splash of citrus. And on top of that, I decided to layer Midnight Fantasy by Britney Spears. This is my favorite Britney Spears perfume. I love this one. I've been wearing this one for years and it's just a sweet berry type of scent. So together this is really nice. I loved it. 
So next up with Bubblegum Pop and Cotton Candy Clouds, I again used the Princess Bubblegum Oil by Sugar Milk Co. And then I decided to pair it with Moschino's Toy 2 Bubblegum. So I want to love this perfume just because the opening is amazing. It smells just like bubblegum, but the dry down is straight rose and I just don't like it. So I really think that I'm probably going to end up decluttering this perfume. I mean, packaging is 10 out of 10. It's so cute, but I just don't love the scent. I love the opening. I just don't love the dry down. So not my favorite for sure. So next up, I decided to use Enchanted Candy Potion, which is just a really sweet candy scent. I think I said before that it smells like when you walk into a candy store and you're just hit with that like super sweet sugar candy smell. That's what it reminds me of. And I decided to pair it with Electric Fantasy by Britney Spears. I've had this perfume for quite a while and I've just never worn it. So I wanted to get some use out of it. So this one has a sweetness to it. It does remind me a lot of Burberry Her. I'm not exactly sure why, but it's a nice scent. I don't know if I love it, but it's an okay scent. Together, this was nice. So next up, I decided to pair Enchanted Candy Potion with Kaylee's Love Fest Burning Cherry. I absolutely love this perfume. It is just such a nice cherry. It has a little bit of spice in it, but it's a long-lasting scent, in my opinion. And together, this is like cherry candy. It gave some sweetness to the burning cherry, which it doesn't have a lot of sweetness, in my opinion. So that was nice. So it added some sweetness, and it's just it was really good. It was fun. So next up, I decided to use Victoria's Secret Pure Seduction La Creme. So this has scent notes of caramel apple and gardenia. And to me, I smell none of that. To me, this smells like champagne toast. I don't know why. I mean, I love champagne toast, so I guess it's okay. <laughs> but I kind of feel like I was led astray. You know what I mean? I decided to pair it with Donna Born in Roma Intense by Valentino. Which to me also just smells a lot like the original Donna Born Aroma, which I like that one because I have it. But I thought this one would be more vanilla heavy, and it's just not. So this is a good combination. It was nice, but I was kind of just hoping it would be something different. So next up, I decided to pair Victoria's Secret's Pure Seduction La Creme with Ari by Ariana Grande. So this is just a nice, sweet, girly scent. I like this perfume a lot. So this was just a nice, sweet combination. I mean, nothing super special, but it was nice. I enjoyed it all day. I smelled nice all day. It was good. So for my last scent of the month, I decided to use Sunset Glow. This is one of my favorite scents. It is caramel, coconut, and cherry, and it goes together so nice, and it's so strong. It's just a beautiful, beautiful scent. I decided to pair it with Cherry Boba Tea Oil by Sugar Milk Co., which is just like a cherry, creamy type of scent. I've never actually used this oil before, but I did this month and I'm not disappointed. It is so nice. I really love this one. And I decided to pair on top of that Fineries Not Another Cherry, which is a dupe for Tom Ford's Lost Cherry, I guess, which I've never smelled. But to me, it's just a cherry almondy type scent and I really like it. And together with the cherry that's in Sunset Glow, this was just a really nice combination. It was strong. It lasted all day. It was absolutely beautiful. So to finish off Sunset Glow, I decided to pair it again with the Cherry Boba Tea by Sugar Milk Co. And then I used my perfume from Sol de Janeiro, the Charosa 62. So when Sunset Glow came out, this is what everybody said it was a dupe of. The Bum Bum Cream by Sol de Janeiro, which I have to agree. They might not smell exactly the same, but they are really, really close. And they're beautiful, both of them. So together, this was just really nice. Like it just gave it that extra kick. And since Sunset Glow didn't have like a big full-size perfume that came with it, this is like the next best thing. And I love this scent and I will continue to wear this scent. And that's all. So that was all my scent combinations for this month. I hope you guys mixed some great things together and made some great scents. Let me know. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.